Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. Welcome. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my Patreons, my supporters, and those who order their Tesla using my referral code. And now you can get a Model Y using my referral code. So if you are in the market, please do that. You support me. You support yourself. Um, today is not going to be a nice video. <laughs> it's not about the Model Y per se as a car. The Model Y is a marvelous car. I'm going to enjoy it and love it. But it's really about Tesla. Let me give you an analogy. I'm a bit exaggerating, but I will correct right away uh if you are as old as i am or, or a little younger you probably bought a lot of cars and you know that the that the experience at the car dealership is horrendous no matter what you leave and you feel you feel that you got screwed you feel that you got uh, 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 tricked you feel that you got things that you don't didn't want to you know it's not a, it's never a good feeling all those sleazy uh, sales people Nothing like that at Tesla. It's great. They're awesome. They're amazing. You know what you get and all that. But uh, after I bought this Tesla, even though I knew about it before, and I'm going to explain why, I now feel that I got ripped off. That what Tesla has been doing in the last few months, once you get into a new Tesla, you feel that you are uh, that you got ripped. Let me explain to you. Uh, two things that are obnoxious plus and one thing that is like really bad all right so let's start with um the uh home link tesla cars from the beginning used to come with home link home link is when you approach your garage you approach your, your house and the garage open by itself that's basically it's a great convenience it's awesome you don't have to carry uh you know those uh, these kakamemi uh, garage openers that run out of battery and you know, just you do it you go in, in now and it's been you know a couple months now the automatic garage opener meaning the home the home link is no longer available it doesn't come with the car you have to buy it and here's a sticker automatic garage opener for 300 dollars. that is like uh from a, a third party now here's my point this is the model y the model x the model s these are very expensive cars fifty thousand and up and way up you think that this should be part of the car. Even my Kakamemi Ford Fusion and Ford Explorer has those little buttons. You you fix them and you at least you press the button. Cars have these things. You don't have to carry this crap here. So now it's a three hundred dollars. So when you buy a fifty thousand plus car, you hate to be nickel and dime. The worst feeling is nickel and dime. Now Tesla has this subscription model. Basically, a new Tesla like this one is going to have uh, the maps and navigation and all that for a year. After that, look at this connectivity package. In a year from now, in June of 2021, if I don't do anything, I will have only the navigation system. Traffic, live, uh, live traffic visualization, satellite view map, uh, video streaming if you're not on Wi-Fi, karaoke if you're not on Wi-Fi, music streaming, same thing, not on Wi-Fi, or internet browser if you are not on Wi-Fi, you cannot get it when you drive around. Now, me personally, I never browse the, the uh, uh, internet. Once, maybe once I did it. Music streaming, crap, karaoke, I don't care about video streaming. You know, if you sit in a supercharger or all that. Satellite map, live traffic visualization. That's like a major thing. So for that, they want $10, $9.99. $10 a month. $10, $120 a year. That is the ultimate, the ultimate, ultimate ripoff. The ultimate ripoff. It's, it's crap. Now, that's, these are... Not as horrible as, as, as it sounds. You can buy them once and, and, and you do that. The, the thing that is bad is the autopilot. All Teslas come standard with autopilot. Okay? However, the autopilot here has one feature that, in my opinion, is not only the best in terms of convenience, but it's really, really a safety issue. And that is the automatic lane change. When you press the uh, blinker and the car moves automatically. Why is it so important? First of all, it's very convenient. Second of all, it's a huge safety thing. How many times you see car accident, people lost somebody in a blind spot? You So this car basically will keep you in the lane, slow and, slow and, and accelerate, 
but it will not move to the next lane. Now, as you know me, the electric is rally. I take mega trips, and this is a really, really important thing. So now I'll have to put the blinker, re-engage, maybe jiggle the the, the, the 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 steering wheel or disengage completely, do it myself, which means I have to, you know, it's like many, many more layers of safety and do that. Now, again, this is a $55,000 car. This feature of basically it's an adaptive cruise control. That's what it is. I had it in my old cars from five, six years ago. You know, obviously Tesla is the best on that. Not, not that I'm not knocking this car. I'm not knocking the technology. I'm knocking Tesla and its CEO, Elon Musk. Why would you do that? Now, if you buy a, a, a basic Model 3, which you can get off menu for maybe 32,000 and you can get incentives depending when you leave. Yes, you can have that. Now in my Model 3, the one behind me somewhere, in my Model 3, when I bought it in 2010, there are options. There was an autopilot, there was enhanced autopilot, and later on you can upgrade to full self-drive. Full self-drive does not exist. So if I want a, an automatic lane change, I have to shell $7,000. Now, it comes with um, a Navigate and Autopilot, which I never use because it just changed lanes for no reason. Okay, I don't like it. I like the Autopilot and I like to change lanes myself. Summit, uh, Smart Summit, it gimme, it's crap. So I, I, I never, I use it to make a video once. Uh, moving the, pulling the car out from uh, tight parking lot, parking spots, it's good. I like that. This car doesn't have it. Uh, automatic par parking. Sometimes you can be in a rough spot. You know what I mean? The point, I'm not trying to be a spoiled brat. But when you pay this much, you should get standard things. Or at least have an option. I would not mind paying 500 bucks for uh, automatic lenses as an option. Hello, Elon Musk. 500 bucks. That's all. That's all it is. Okay, you give me the plate, you give me the fork and the knife, but there's no food on the plate. And you asking me to buy a cow just because I need a glass of milk. $7,000. There should be some options. Something should be standard. So if you equipped your Teslas with autopilot, why won't you do that one thing that is so important for, sa for safety? Okay, I think I'm done uh, complaining. Please complain with me below in the in the uh, uh, comments and I will see you tomorrow with a happier face.